guys, Karen here with another video, and this time it is how to um, find Lake Crusade items on sale and how to purchase them at, on sale and where to, where to find them. Um, I, this is another video that stems from questions and comments that I received, and so I just thought that I would share with you how I, the four ways that I, I find that you can probably find these items on sale and save yourself a couple of coins when purchasing Le Creuset. It's really, it really is possible. And I will say that out of all of the pieces that I have, that you've seen me purchase and, and the pieces that I have, I have only paid full price for one item. Um, and that item is the Cool Mint Brazer. Other than that, I've not paid full price for any other item. And I will share with you how I do that, the four ways that I do that. And quick backstory. So I grew up, my mother used, used a cast iron, traditional cast iron, um, and then she just so happened to pass that love of cast iron down to me. And, um, and so I used cast iron for many years, and it wasn't until I came in contact with the actual Lake Crusade store, um, uh, actually before, it was even the Lake, before I even came in contact with the Lake Crusade store, I saw it at a flea market while living abroad. Um, and um, I just thought it was a beautiful pot. It was very colorful. But at that time, I, you know, I did not feel the need to purchase that pot because as I said, I was at a flea market and I really wasn't thinking about it. It wasn't really on my radar at that time. It wasn't until probably two years later that we happened to be meandering around and we happened to run, in, run into a Lake Crusade store and that's when I was able to see, oh, this is an actual store where you can buy uh, these pots. And at first I just thought it was very nifty until I realized these were cast iron pots. Um, but it was still years later before I even purchased um, my first pot. So my first pot, which leads me to my first way of purchasing Le Creuset. Um, if you're looking to purchase Le Creuset and you want to see how it how you often you would use it, how practical it would be in your kitchen. I would suggest first way of doing it, I purchased my item at an estate sale. And in the estate sale, um, you can go to, if you're in the US, there's a, 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 a website called estatesales.net. You can literally go to um, estate sales, type in your zip code and uh, see the estate sales, estate sales, excuse me, in your area and they actually, a lot of them have pictures posted. And it was in one of these pictures that I actually saw a uh, Le Creuset pot. Well, actually it was a set of pots. Um, but, and there's no guarantee that you will get it. It's literally at an estate sale, you kind of wait in a line and it's depending on who gets there. I mean, if you get there early, like I did, I, I really wanted to see the pot to make sure that it was something that I wanted to purchase. Um, so. Uh, my husband and I, we got there pretty early. We were number two in line, so I knew if I just ran, when we got in, when we were allowed to go in to like rush right to the kitchen to actually see this pot, you know, try to find it. Um, and sure enough, the numbers were called and obviously someone else had the same idea because they called, I think, five of us at the same time. But when he saw the pot, he didn't want the pot and I didn't even think about it, I just grabbed the whole pot because at that point I, you know, no matter what, I knew how to clean it, I knew whatever needed to be done that I was going to do that because I really wanted to see what it was like to use the pot. So if I could suggest anything, the first time, and also that pot cost me 20 bucks. It was on estate sales, at estate sales, the first day that you go, everything is full price. The second day that you go, um, and sometimes if it's a third day, the second or third day is half price. So originally the price was $40 for this Lake Crusade pot and I got it for $20. So make sure to hit up your uh, estate sales, flea markets. I'm not too sure about garage sales or how that would work, but I know that there are plenty of savings there too if you happen to run across it. And I do recommend if you are looking into the estate sales to go and look at the pictures because then they'll give you a definite idea if you will actually find this pot there. So that's one way. And like I said, I was able to try out the Le Creuset brand for $20 initially. The second way, I have my handy dandy notebook, 
The second way is look for seconds. Now, and what I mean by seconds are, there are stores like Ross, TJ Maxx, um, quite a few of them, that if you go to them, they might have some Lake Crusade items there. Now, when you do find a secondary, a second Lake, Lake Crusade item, it normally is not under warranty because it might have, uh, it might have been sold there because it has an existing flaw or some minor damage to it already. And so therefore it will not be under warranty, but you will still have that discounted price and um, you'll still be able to try out the item. Um, you know, you'll still be able to try out and see if Lake Crusade is something that you will use on a regular and consistent basis. So, but you can find them there if you would like to try them out prior to. So look for seconds, look for those items that uh, may have a, a little flaw or something um, here or there and you're able but you're still able to the quality of the item is still intact basically and you're still able to use it to see if you like it the third way to purchase um, Le Creuset and and not pay the uh, huge fees are look for the sales at affiliated stores the affiliated stores that I'm speaking of um, this is one way that I was able to really increase my collection. So stores like William Sonoma, Sir La Tabla, um, Crate and Barrel. Now all three of them have uh, quite a bit of Le Creuset, but they also have Le Creuset items specific, uh, Le Creuset colors specific to their stores. So sometimes you might find one color at one store um, at, at like Crate and Barrel or, but at Williams Sonoma they won't have that color, but they'll have a totally different color over there. Um, and I and I was able to purchase items uh, from each of these stores on sale because they have their own sales. And so through that, um, and they also have different pieces from one another. You know, sometimes the same pieces. Uh, for instance, I at Williams Sonoma I was able to get these large bowls that I use on my counter, but they don't have them at Crate and Barrel. So, you know, it's these are just things that you're able to find, um, you know, at specific stores. So, like I said, try the sales from affiliated stores. And they seem to always have a markdown. Something's always on sale. Um, and they, and the, the quality is just, just the same as if you're getting it from Le Creuset them itself. So that's another way. And like I said, um, I found more sales at Williams Sonoma than any other store. And, and Le Creuset themselves have a lot of sales. And leading to my fourth one would be the Le Creuset factory to table sales. Now, it's only been in the last 18 months, I believe, that the, the factory to table sales normally were only in store. So you would actually go to the store, line up and go, or, you know, go in and shop to your heart's content. And it was only in the last 18 months, uh, due to unforeseen circumstances, I'm sure that the factory to table sale was brought online. It made a huge difference. Um, you know, and, and me being able to purchase the item. And, and for the most part, you're talking about major markdowns, major markdowns. It's not just like, you know, $25. Um, some of the items that I purchased, hots included, were marked down by at least 80, 80, 75 to $80, if not more. I'm, I'm trying to be, cons I'm leaning more on the conservative side. Um, but I, I can guarantee you, like, those were some hefty markdowns. So if you've already been putting some coins aside to purchase a Lake Crusade, you know, look into, the, look into these different ways, um, especially buying you. So from a, a, a flea market or a estate sale, a, you know, um, those sorts of things. Those are ways to purchase the item two seconds so you can find it you might be able to find some Lake Crusade items at a Ross, TJ Maxx, um, a Marshalls look in those they may have a little flaw or a ding here or there or maybe not at all maybe just it was a discontinued color or what have you but 
it's going to be at a more affordable price. Um, the third way would be to look at, a um, Lake Crusade affiliated stores. These are stores that when you buy your Lake Crusade item from there, that you will still uh, get the warranty for the item. And and a lot more often than not, I find these stores have quite a bit of sales. I mean, they don't always have sales, but for the most part, um, William Sonoma has had quite a few sales um, for the Lake Crusade items, which um, have just been great. And you know, so look into that. And then, last but not least, the factory to table sales, which I think the the one that there was one that just recently passed. Um, which was really good and and from there I was able to get the Balti dish and also remember the factory to table sales uh, actually have uh, items that you probably won't uh, see in the stores um, it's just I just think it's great and you know you may wonder like oh why is she sharing all this stuff? I just really enjoy cooking um, you know and uh, I buy the Lake Crusade items because these are items that for the most part, will not ha I will not have to replace them. They are good for their warranty. They work well. They function well, and um, you will get your wear out of them. Your cost per wear, definitely. Um, but that is all I have for you guys today, and I hope you find this found this video helpful. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.